Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of my Kelmbo fans out there. It's Epic Wit Battles of History. Jordan Kareem versus a 236 card deck. I'm going to let you know that this stream is happening right now. I'm super excited about it, and I hope that you are too. I'll see you in just a bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome in. It's Thursday, which means it is another stream coming right at you with 236 big ones, not even including a sideboard. So uh, we're going to be, and we're going to go all out tonight, and I'm pretty excited about it. We are playing a Creative Technique Cascade Demonstrate deck, and we're going to be playing Battle of Wits. That's right. Yeah, we are going to be playing, oh boy, a big pile of cards. So the idea with this deck is we have 163 lands, and we're going to use these lands, which include almost every single double land, all of the um, sacrifice dual lands, Ancient Tomb and City of Traitors. We've got uh, the sacrifice ones. Where's the other? Uh, the... I don't know, they're the, the counter lands. Um, they come in with two counters and you can sack a counter to create two mana. We've got those as well, and we're going to be using them to cast cascade spells. These are going to uh, cascade down into either creative technique, a four of, or battle of wits, a one of. And if you're not familiar with battle of wits, at the beginning of my upkeep, if I have 200 or more cards in my library, I win the game. Hmm. I think we can get there. Um, and this takes the deck known as Mississippi River to the next level. This was showcased on Bosch and Roll's YouTube site. I recommend watching that video as well after we're done with this stream or you're done watching this video. And I've taken some things that um, that channel uh, in the comments section and Brian himself uh, decided to talk about. We, only, we are only playing one Battle of Wits. Turns out that that's a pretty bad Cascade deck uh, target um, until you are guaranteed to win. So we only need one of them. And then I've changed up the mana base a little bit and I've gotten rid of a Golgari Rot Farm playset. Yeah, we're playing the Bounce Lands, the Karu Bounce Lands. And I added in some more basic islands and basic forests so that we can channel Beseju and 
I'm not gonna scroll all the way down, but we have another channel land um, that doesn't need to be shown because it gets a little buggy when I'm looking at the deck list right here. Um, so Faith, Fellowship, and MTG, this is going to be a wild ride. This is not Mr. Toad's wild ride. That's a different magic deck, but that's all right. We are going to be playing Battle of Wits. Now on the sideboard, we have things that we can go a little bit faster, Tybalt's Trickery, and then Violent Outburst so that we have eight total ways to get um, Trickery on the stack which goes just a little bit quicker. And then we have six protection spells, uh, Camille, the Inner Sun, and Teferi, Time Raveler. And this is going to be protection against counter magic, right? And then we were playing Yorion because, well, we have a few more cards more than our minimum deck number. So I think that we're going to be playing Yorion. Uh, to Fairy's Isle, I could be, but that's gonna be at like the very, very bottom of this, and I'm not gonna worry about it. If you want to check for this, Aaron, by the way, uh, you can check out the Moxfield deck list link that's linked in the video description below, and that will take you to the actual, um, well, I can't say 75, it's uh, 251. So, yeah, is that right? 236, 15, so, yeah. 251. Um, oh boy. Yeah, we're going to be doing it this way. So Seth, I'm glad you love this. I'm going to figure out if I love this or not, but I am so excited to try this out. Um, so here we go. I'm already queued up in, uh, in a league. I just have to start finding a match. Oh, Joe L. Hello. Uh, welcome to chat. It is absurd. Um, and yeah, we're going to get to six mana and let RNG Jesus take the wheel, um, which is really nice. What I am going to do is dodge every Wasteland matchup, and I'm going to feel relatively okay. As long as I can dodge Wasteland, I feel like we have a chance. If we hit Wasteland matchups every single game, and God forbid if I get a lands deck that can recur wastelands with something like crucible or ramanop excavator like maverick um this is not going to go well but as long as we dodge those then i think this is going to be a fun time and i'm going to get into a league match and uh we're going to see what happens i'll run an ad about moxfield obviously you're already checking out the deck list link below that i was telling you about but they've got all kinds of additional stuff that's really really cool let me tell you about them while we get queued up for round number one. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Alrighty, and let me just make sure that this sidebar is exactly where I need it. It is, and we are on the draw. I have already displayed my Pokemon, uh, Yorion for that, um, and I'm going to keep this hand. It has a six mana Cascader, and it has the mana ca to cast it. Um, these bounce lands are gonna mean that I can go off on turn four, rather than anything earlier than that, but I think that we're going to be just fine. So let's keep this and see what happens. Um, yeah, Joe L, I, there are a lot of decks that I don't wanna play up against. The super aggressive ones, uh, ooh, yeah, the super, the ones that are gonna kill me faster than I kill them are going to be problematic. And it looks like our opponent might be doing exactly that. So I'm gonna play the Sappers in Scary. And I am going to put this companion here and then we're gonna call it good. Oh, companion is gone. Okay, that's fine. MTGO windows are like super buggy and I really wish that we could fix that out. Uh, OP might be on TES, yes. Um, Verdant Catacombs is a, would be an older version of the Epic Storm. 
but I mean, they're showing signs of Entomb right now. This looks like Reanimator potentially. Uh, scam, some kind of some similar thing. Okay, let's see if this is Reanimate. It's gonna make my clock quite a bit shorter. Um, we're gonna find out. I don't know. <laughs> this is, I've played Creative Technique on the channel before and I had a lot of fun. Uh, oh, Doyle, yeah, it is Scamming. Oh, by the way, I meant to respond to your comment that you played Modern Battle of Wits. I, ugh, good, good luck to your opponent. Um, playing this in paper sounds like a choice. This actually came about because someone was playing this um, 251, it was actually 254. Um, I've modified things, but they were playing this pile of cards at Eternal Weekend North America in Pittsburgh. And, oh my gosh, um, what a wild choice. I wish I saw that. I didn't see that that was a thing. Uh, I would have loved watching this happen in real life. Just flip, 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 flip every single time. Um... You know, Joe, I wouldn't believe it, or I would believe it, sorry. Um, okay, here's a Grizzle brand, okay. Is this gonna be an Exum? Okay. Well, I don't think that we're going to make it, folks. We might, if it's just a Grizzle brand and they don't do anything else, then eh. But the fact that they didn't lose any life to reanimate the Grizzle brand, they exhumed it, does not give me a lot of hope moving forward. Like, this Ottawara is not nothing, but I don't think that it's gonna get me where I need to go. Do I just concede? Sappers and Scary could be... Uh, the Paradigm Shift deck. I don't think that I'm winning against this, so I will concede. It also takes a little bit of guessing for, I, for my opponent um, to figure out what's going on. Now, this is a combo deck that goes faster than me, so there is going to be a very easy boarding in plan of Tybalt's Trickery and Violent Outburst. You might know Tybalt's Trickery for um, quote unquote breaking the format with uh, Valky, God of Lies, and um, not the this format, although it probably affected this format. I think that it was mostly a modern thing. And it's all going in. As far as sideboarding goes, I'm bringing those in. Do I want to take anything out? I don't have to. I can bring in all of my cards that I want and not have to sideboard any of them, but uh, I don't think that that's going to be helpful. What I probably should do is um, sideboard out some of the dual lands that are uh, just black producing, like even Stronghold these probably are not as good or i took out the golgari rot farms um already and we're on the play so the gemstone caverns can come out that's actually probably it um yes i so probably sebastian but i have played against battle of wits and only recognized it when battle of wits hit the battlefield in game two um, sometimes I just don't look at what size, uh, m how many cards my opponent has decided to register. So, okay, we're going to take out Gemstone Caverns and then we're going to call that good because it turns out once you get to this level of crazy, I don't think that splitting fine hairs and even ins and outs are going to matter all that much. So here we go and we're going to try it. I don't know. Joe, it was a side event, two chairs down, traditional Mississippi River. Oh, okay. 
Well, you have a pile of cards that wins games a little bit quicker than most. <laughs> yes, a player may concede at any time. <laughs> it's true. A player can concede at any time. Okay, here's my Pokemon. I love re replying um, to my opponent in that vein because, yes, um, okay, double Apex Devastator kind of stinks, and we don't even necessarily have the mana for this Phoenix. Um... We have one red mana, but that's not enough. And I think that me, uh, the crystal vein is so good. Uh, we would need double red. Okay, I'm gonna mulligan this actually. And I think that this is better. This is, this is better. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna send blast zone to the bottom. We don't need blast zone right now. And they have mulliganed to five, okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, play a Hickory Woodlot and then play a Simic Growth Chamber. No, probably the Boris Garrison. And then the Hickory Woodlot again, and then the Forest, is that? F no, that's only five, okay. Well, I can't do everything that I want on turn three, but on turn four, we can try to go off. We did hit a faster matchup, which is gonna be kind of tough, but we're gonna see what we can do about it. And them mulliganing to five is moderately helpful. And by moderately helpful, I mean potentially game winning. Otherwise, I don't know if we would, oh, there it is, okay. That was weird. And not that I was doing this before, um, but now I can just F6 through my opponent's turn. I'm not doing anything on their turn whatsoever. I'm not doing anything besides making land drops until turn four. So, you know, we're just chilling. Okay, they make a land drop. I smell an entomb. Um, I'm gonna play a Boros Garrison and pick up the Hickory Woodlot and we're good to go. So, this should be kind of fun. I'm also excited about Dream Halls. I don't know if you saw in the YouTube poll what the options were. If you don't know, every Thursday morning before 12 hours before the stream, a YouTube poll goes up on our community channel for different options for you to pick what we play with today. So Battle of Wits obviously won, but there's a Dream Halls deck that I'm excited about. They took Dream Halls out of the Vintage Cube this year, which was fine. It wasn't a great idea. Any, it, like, it was fine, but there are better options, I feel, and uh, kind of just got me missing the opportunity to play with it. So here we are doing our best to uh, force this spicy card. Um, discard the forest. Uh, play the spicy card in a uh, stream. So, uh, Dream Halls is pretty cool, Moses. I agree. Beseju. Okay. That could be good. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not really thinking that that actually is good. What I need is an Ancient Tomb, and then I can play the Sweet Gum Recluse. Um, that would be nice. I'll probably discard this, um, probably the Simic Growth Chamber. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I need... I'm taking nine and then nine, so I actually think that I need to draw something that allows me to play the Sweet Gum Recluse right now. Um, oof. Because this is one, two, three, four, five.
five, and these are sixes. So there are a handful of deck of cards. I could draw creative technique. I could draw ancient tomb, crystal vein, city of traders. See what happens. Sakashima's protege is not going to do it. And our opponent has defeated us. I can't uh, do what I want here. So our opponent has won the game. We were a turn behind, but that's okay. Um, I'm not surprised, but we're going to see like this, this, uh, this deck is like just one turn behind. Uh, the Mississippi River is faster. This, this pile of cards is cooler, right? So that's why we're playing it. Um, in the meantime though, if you want to play this pile of cards, this this thing that we call a, co a cohesive strategy, then you can do what I did and rent the cards, because I don't own them, from Card Hoarder, awesome sponsor of the channel, and let me tell you a little bit about it. Or let me have Bryant tell you a little bit about it. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, well, we are still waiting. Oh. Here we go for round number two. I spoke a little too soon on the waiting bit. And uh, here's our companion. And we have a six mana, the red to play it. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, we're on the draw, which is unfortunate, but we do what we can. We can even potentially play this Maelstrom Wander if we get discarded or something the following turn. Hmm. It could be good. Scalding Tarn. Mm, pass. Not quite sure what that means. Um, I don't know. So let's play the Sappers and Scary. Um, you know, I'm not sure. This kind of seems like a combo deck just because they didn't, do, it is a combo deck. What do you know? Um, okay. Brea's Apprentice, is this Painter? Okay, I was thinking show and tell, but now I'm thinking painter. Oh, I don't know. They don't usually play fetch land, so this might be two colors or three colors or something like that, right? Um, hmm. Well, we're gonna play the Tinder Farm next turn and hope to draw an Ancient Tomb or a Crystal Vein or a City of Traders. You're probably gonna be hearing me that hearing me say that a lot, because that is what's going to allow us to untap on turn three with six mana. It doesn't happen very often, but that is a key interaction for us to go off on. Um, turn three, as opposed to turn four, which is oh when we usually go, but not today. Mm-hmm. Look at that. What a nice expedition, Ancient Tomb. I mean, I, it's whatever card hoarder gave me. I could have sprung for nice arts, but then I would have had to individually gone in for every single individual card and picked the nice art. And honestly, eh, no, no, thank you. I'm good. I appreciate it all of the work that the people did to make this deck, I'm not going to spend a lot of energy trying to do all of that much more to it. Chad, it is time to duel. Um, I hope all of y'all understood that, ooh, Imperial Recruiter, wow. 
that the title of the YouTube uh, video is in reference to epic rap battles of history. I hope that y'all grew up with that like I did because, well, I went to college with that. I don't know, wherever you are in life. Because um, that, was, that was super fun. But here we go. We're going to be boarding party for our opponent and we're going to always yield to these cascades and we're going to test my computer and mtg oh we hit battle of woods oops there's only one of them but that's okay um we'll do what we can i'm gonna swing in i'm not going to die with life loss here and if our opponent has a land drop and a painter's servant, then they win. There's only one of these, and we did happen to hit it first. Um, so, uh, whatever. You, this this is a reason of the, the deck only has one of these bad boys. Um, we're just going to see what our opponent does. It's up to them. And that's a painter's servant. Do they have land number four? They have the mountain. Okay. Well, they are... Uh, wait, no. I have Emrakul. Yeah, that's right. This is not a problem at all. It's the shuffle Emrakul, so we're good. Oh, boy. So many mills. You can't see it, but my computer is going crazy. I'm mill, 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 every single one, every single time. Has to repeat, has to repeat, has to repeat. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> so that's all of them. And Aaron, I'm so glad that you. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. I think. Man, MTGO is really struggling. This painter servant battle of wits matchup is tough. Okay. Cool. We won. <laughs> I'm going to put this back. You can see how well MTGO is behaving for me. I even have a fairly powerful computer. Uh, no Clawtooth, actually, because um, because this Emrakul shuffles when it's put, uh, shuffles the graveyard into their library. Yeah, we got a screenshot for that for sure. But uh, all of our pile of cards goes back into our library so that the Battle of Wits can trigger and we win in our upkeep. So I didn't do anything. I just cascaded into the exact correct card, I suppose. Um, so what they need is Graveyard Hate in order to, say, Soul Guide Lantern all of my cards before I untap with the Battle of Wits trigger. Um, Il de Del Tante, yeah, I should probably restart. I might restart um, in between rounds here. We'll see. So here's my Pokemon. And yeah, this is actually probably a really good matchup. Okay, so there's a seven mana cascader, two seven mana cascaders and a six mana cascader, but I don't have the mana for it. I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna need to hit my land drops. This is much better. Um, obviously this is a little bit slower, but I'll keep it. And I'm gonna put the Enigma Sphinx on the bottom. And we're gonna call that good. Because at the very least, if they hit like a Magus of the Moon, I can cast these um, and get the Cascades going that way. So Clawtooth, yes, uh, Battle Keys. Uh, MTGO might be poorly optimized for this mass amount of card re um, rendering that they have to do. Understandable. I don't think that they were expecting Battle of Wits when they kind of optimized things back in 2006. So, yeah. Um, D. Allen, I hope you got a screenshot because I wasn't even about to try and get a screenshot with that one. 
ancient tomb, lotus petal. This might be a magus. This might be an imperial recruiter for a magus. Oh, it's just a magus. Okay, so we have to hit six mana naturally. Or um, we have to hit a basic island or a basic forest plus one of our um, channel lands. So one of the two hap has to happen. Uh, yeah, Battle of Wits is from the 90s. Did, did it actually see a lot of play? I don't know. Probably did. Everybody loves the meme. Uh, but MTGO is probably not very optimized anyway. It's a lovely program. It actually functions really, really well for as complicated as it is. Um, it's just, mm, come on. We can be a little bit better. Alrighty. So we're just hitting our land drops. I need to hit, I need to draw more land drops. I need to draw two more lands for this to all work out like I want it to. But, uh oh. Never mind. So let's see if they have graveyard hate. There's an island. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, I'm playing the ones that don't require counters because these are depletion lands. If there's no counter on it, um, then I they're sacrificed. So when I activate them, and I need to remove a counter. So that's the one that I'm playing last because if I do, in fact, draw island and then um, whatever the channel land is, then I can do everything that I want. Um, not Beseju. What's the blue channel land that I'm thinking of? Doesn't matter. If I draw it, I'll be able to say it out loud. That's not it. Um, but I am drawing the lands that I need. I have all of them now. Um, no one really played Battle of Wits except the one time it was played in a tournament for some reason. I mean... People love playing Battle of Wits in a tournament and just coming in with one of those big BCW boxes full of their cards. It's kind of cool, right? Um, Ottawa, thank you very much. I don't know why I forgot about that. Um, similar to Yorion selling more cards. Yeah. It is a funny card. We love alternative win conditions. Um, I mean, we're playing up against one, so that's kind of fun too. Um, Another Magus. Okay, so Ottawara is not going to work. I do need to just survive until my next turn where I can play one of my six drops and hopefully assemble a board state enough to win. So here we go. This is all or nothing. Um, We have, we have a chance. That's all I'm saying. We have a chance. Imperial Recruiter for... What are we doing? What are we recruiting for? Twin Shot Sniper. That's okay. I'm dead next turn, but I think our opponent is dead this turn. I hope. Aether Hub. Okay. Well, how about... A boarding party and here's our cascade <laughs> fingers crossed my computer can handle this i don't know uh okay creative technique yes i would like it and i think our opponent can have mind break trap and things like that but i am going to demonstrate to this um i am going to demonstrate it our opponent is going to get something they have a goblin engineer that's totally fine and um, if they have a mind break trap in hand, then oops, but that's fine. So here we go, Aurora, Aura Phoenix. Uh, let's see what we hit. Computer going haywire. It's all good. 
What did we hit? Creative technique. Okay. I will cast without paying. And I would like to demonstrate this. I'm going to keep going. And um, can't pyroblast the Battle of Wits. Uh, I guess they can, but that's all right. Um, if they untap and pyroblast the Battle of Wits, that's fine. Okay, Sakashima's protege. I will likely have enough creatures on the battlefield at that point to um, win the game. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll end up with a Maelstrom Wanderer, which gives all of my creatures haste, and I can attack with everything. Oh, there's the Battle of Wits. Okay. Well, that's fine. We've got another two creative techniques, so we know that those are going to hit absolute gas, which is nice. Um, oh, yeah. I can have this copy anything I want. So how about a Battle of Wits? Nice. I have two Battle of Wits. And Itali, okay, that's good. Now this has to enter the battlefield for it to trigger, but I get to cast a Lion's Eye Diamond and another Cascader. Uh, and we'll put the Cascade trigger on this. <laughs> this is so much fun. My computer is handling it just fine. And we're going to do everything that we want. Atali is like an ETB, cast the top two cards, uh, or the top card of each of, of the libraries, everybody's library. There we go. Um, yeah, Faith, that's exactly what I need. I need the latest and greatest specs, and I need MTGO to be really, really good. Okay, I am still going to demonstrate... I don't know if that's greedy or not. They have the Soul Guide Lantern. Ooh, okay. Which they chose not to cast. Interesting. There's the Apex Devastator that we know and love. Okay, this is exactly what we want. This is four instances of Cascade. Big yikes. Um, okay, I hope that my computer can handle this all. Um... Oh boy, really hope this is all gonna work. Okay, Annoyed Altasar. My opponent might be an Annoyed Altasar. Um, Meteoric Mace. Let's always yield to these. And, oh boy, <laughs> it's happening. This is a stack. This is an absolute stack of cards. There's the creative technique. I am not going to demonstrate this one feel like we've proven our point. Um, there's the Sakashima's protege. I think that that was the last creative technique. So we have uh, one, two chances to hit an Emrakul. Um, and then three chances to hit a Maelstrom Wanderer. I think. I think so. Um, I am going to run out of 20, 200 cards in deck, but that's just fine. I think that we're going, this is an alternative way to win. Um, I could also decline casting these Apex Devastator triggers, so I think that that's just fine. Um, we, we don't necessarily need, um, to win with the Battle of Wits when we have this pile of cards here. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing else to cascade into. Um, we'll hit uh, another Battle of Wits, I guess. What the heck? Why not? Okay, so we have Apex Devastators, Uh, I'm not going to cascade into that, Aurora Phoenix. Um, I am not going to cascade into that. I think that we can just win with the uh, Battle of Wits. Um, 
this doesn't necessarily land Emrakul. Um, I am going to cast Sweet Gum and beef up some of my creatures, I suppose. This Sweet Gum is not going to cascade into anything. We've already made it through all five of the cards that we can. Um, yeah, Faith Fellowship and MTG. This is a blast. This is absolutely fun. Uh, it can land an Emrakul. This is not a guaranteed Emrakul like the Mississippi River deck um, because there are so many Cascade creatures that we can hit and we've already ran out of creative techniques. So um, these creative techniques are just going to, um, to potentially hit. We have two chances to hit it um and we have no more ways to hit a maelstrom wanderer which is the other the way that we could win um so i think that we're just going to be good to go from here um let's see here here and here Oh, all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. I can do all of them. That's why Sweet Gum is really cool. And then I have an Apex Devastator 1010, because why not? Creative Technique. Um, no, I'm not going to uh, hit the Ethereum Horn, Ethereum Horn um, Sculptor, I think. Okay, here's my Lion's Eye Diamond that I can use for reasons. If I had an Emrakul in my hand, then I could um, sack the Lion's Eye Diamond to shuffle my graveyard back in. No, I'm not going to do that. We didn't hit the Emrakul or the, Ape, the Maelstrom Wanderer, which is just fine. Um, okay. Now, can I attack with any of these? Some of these have haste. Just the one. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think, so that we know that they have a uh, twin shot sniper that's gonna deal me two. I don't think that they can do anything else. Um, yeah, I think that they're just done for. This has a shuffle effect written on it. This has ETB effects. Um, all of these, all the rest of these are, are unimportant um, other than the fact that they're going to attack for a bunch. And that's all I need. And then I can equip this plus four plus O oh to my apex devastator and give it trample. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Or the Atali, oh, the Atali already has trample. No need for double trample. This apex devastator somehow doesn't already have trample. Um, oh, this is super fun. Uh, <laughs> okay. They've played a mountain. Congratulations opponent. Um, you have played a mountain. Mm. They did not play the Soul Guide Lantern. That is wild. Okay, so I don't think that they can win. Um, yeah, three wind triggers on the stack. I'm just saying that like they could have pyroblasts and things like that, right? But it doesn't. It probably won't matter, Gaming Tide. Uh, gaming Tide? Yeah. Time. Excuse me. Gaming Time. It is game time. We we showed up and we're rocking out with our socks out. Um, oh, no. Uh, yeah, Red Stifle. The double, the, the triple Stifle, because I have three Battle of Witch triggers. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to... No, this is my upkeep. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, it's like, oh, no, I'm going to draw. This is not a draw step trigger. This is... Much better than that. They could fair mill me, but then they can attack. I can just attack. 
So here, here. I wonder if I'm supposed to um, let them have Ancient Tomb. Yeah, I suppose, because they could have multiple Twin Shot Snipers, so just in case. I, this looks like they're getting rid of, rid of Magus of the Moon. That makes sense to me. Um, if they need the extra mana. But I'm not quite sure how they're going to grindstone me out, because their graveyard hate piece of choice, Soul Guide Lantern, was exiled. They chose not to cast it with the uh, creative technique. So they are going to have access to an ancient tomb if they need it. Which it looks like they do. Imperial recruiter, okay. I don't know what they're recruiting for. Uh, Moses, they no longer have ac- well, I guess they can play another land. They didn't have access to a copy of grind or uh, three copies of pyroblast they only only have one card in hand so i think that we're going to be fine with that um not the socks yeah not the socks um we're gonna see what i mean this is probably a pretty tough matchup I have four emrakuls um obviously they have Soul Guide, Lantern, and they could have something like Surgical Extraction or whatever, but I don't think that it's going to save them. Not today. We have a Battle of Wits win on... Hold up, hold up. I won't, I won't count my chickens before they're hatched. Wait for it. Yeah, we did it. Uh, our opponent conceded before we won the game with Battle of Wits, which is unfortunate. Uh, zero mana draw three from MH3. Yeah, they haven't printed that, but my opponent is getting to play with it. All right, we have a win. We are one and one right now up, ag up against uh, Rescaminator, Reanimator Scam, and Painter. That seems pretty fun. Um, let's try it again. We got a, this is so much better than I thought I was going to do with this. I was not expecting a, I mean, if that's our one win, I'm gonna be happy. Let's put it that way, okay? But until we get paired up with our next opponent, let me tell you about some awesome things that you can play in paper other than Battle of Wits, like the Epic Storm. And if you're doing that, you need some tokens, you know this the whole thing. We actually hit our goal for the end of the year. We absolutely made it and it was fantastic. Thank you all for everybody that bought token packs. If you want the token packs, then let me tell you a little bit about it. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Bryant is here to tell you all about the token packs. I don't actually tell you about the token packs. I say that I'm going to tell you about the token packs. We're our awesome Moxfield sponsor. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's actually Bryant. He's the one that did the recordings and I'm just making him play like a little marionette whenever I push a button and run the ad. I guess I could do them, uh, but that seems seems pretty tough. No, I don't think so. Uh, so the Ravnica Bounce Lands are an interesting choice. They they allow you to save your um, charge counter lands, the Sappers and Scaries of the world, and things like that. Um, but I am not someone who knows. It's just probably a way to spread your mana around and get the colors that you need. I could be wrong, but 
here we are in round number three against Ox Dizzle, and we're on the play. This is when we open up on a gemstone caverns. Is it caverns or mine? It's caverns. Yeah, because the mine we did open up on, and that's totally fine. I'm okay with that. Um, unfortunately, okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep this. It's a little bit slower, right? Uh, we have all of the colors that we need. Um, it's just going to take a little bit to get there. So I'll keep this. Um, didn't include the one of mine's desire. Yu Yu, that is a spicy choice. I was not thinking about that as an option. Um, that's for sure. But we're going to see what we can do. So we have double red in the Vesuva and the Gemstone Mine, which means that we're going to be able to do this on turn um, four. No, five, unfortunately, because Vesuva ETB's tapped, even if the regular land that it's copying does not. Um, so unless we find uh, an alternative, then turn five is the earliest that this hand can go off. But against Misty Rainforest, Tundra, Ponder, then I think we're good. Um, Bryant says turn four, maybe. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, no, turn five, yes. I tend not to try to ignore you, Bryant, but I can if that's what you want me to do. I certainly can. All right. Um, what flavor of Island Ponder Keep is my opponent playing? I don't know. This could be just control of some sort, like beans, which I feel like is an okay deck for us. Um, okay, now I have to play the gemstone mine here so that the following turn I can copy it with Vesuva. Um, oh, Mike, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I do need to talk to you about my green screen. I'm having some trouble with it. This new space, now that I've like moved and things like that, um, not that it's been great before, but I had a little bit better lighting, so we'll see what I can do. But um, I'll talk to you about that later. Hmm. Okay, we get a brainstorm, end of turn, and a shuffle. Okay, all good things. And what we're looking for is either a creative technique or an untapped red source. Mm, ancient Tomb, City of Traders are not going to work because we need double red and we currently don't have that. This is a Bant land, this is an Esper land, and then we just have the one red source here. Phyrexian Dreadnought. Ah, okay, that's what we're doing. We are Stifle Knot. That's mm, kind of moderately terrifying because that can stop all of our Cascades. Oof. Ooh, Sweet Gum Recluse. Okay, do I need a red source? No, because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is our turn four, because we drew a cascade that will allow us to use the green here, and the green here, and sweet gum, here we go. We're playing around Stifle. Love that for us. Let's see what happens. Um, it is time to GG opponent. I'd hope so anyway. What, oh, we hit the Battle of Wits. Of course we did. Okay. Um, there's only one, there's only one. Somebody can do the odds that we hit that instead of the other four creative techniques. But here we go. Uh, we hit an unfortunate 
one of. Um, who's every single time I hit the one of, right? It did resolve. Um, I don't know why. Our opponent has five cards in hand. Maybe they think that they can stifle the trigger and win that way, which I mean, they're not wrong. Um, 20%. Yes, I know. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the easy way to go about one of five. Um, Okay, I think that I'm going to block here. Twenty percent to hit Battle of Wits before anything else. Um, yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, it's it's if uh, Creative Technique hits a Battle of Wits where the percentage goes way out the door. Um, that one's super low. But a Cascade to hit Battle of Wits is just how the deck is stacked. So we've taken it down to 20% from 50, which I feel like is a great thing. Um, we'll just have to see how things go. I have hit it. I've hit it a lot. Uh, two out of three times, I think, so far. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if the... Um, yeah, they're digging for a Stifle effect here which is interesting because they need two stifles because I blocked, um, I'm at 14. I can I can afford to take a hit and then, you know, see where things go. So they need two stifle effects. They chose to shuffle. And survey says they're paying costs. They are stifling here, that's fine. And I'm going to play uh, gemstone, another gemstone mine. One, two, three, it's probably not worth it. Um, hmm. I don't think that there's, oh, Goffman, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you understood the reference. I think that according to our Twitter poll, a few people understood it. Okay, so they've used two out of their likely four stifles. Um, and we're gonna have to see what happens. I'm going to two so far. I think I'm okay with that. And uh, our opponent is doing stuff and things. Is this a Brazen Borrower, that would do, that would do it. Um, although I still can technically draw a uh, an Ottawara. What are we doing here? Do you have another one? You do have another one. No, mismatched stifles. Get out of here. Okay, we did not draw one, two, three, four, five. We didn't draw what we needed, so. Um, ooh, trick bind. That's terrifying, Yu Yu. All right, we did not get there. Uh, I will concede this. They had more than enough stifles, actually the exact right amount of stifles to win the game. Um, I don't think that we're going to be playing the Tybalt's Trickery, but I think I am going to be playing the Teferi and the... Uh, Jimmy the Inner Sun. Um, is that true? Probably. There's a lot of counters here. And we're going to call that the plan here. And then I'm going to get rid of the uh, gemstone caverns. Here we go. And that's gonna be it. 238 cards already. Um, Teferi and Tybalt's are not a package necessarily. The Tybalt's Trickery and the Violent Outburst are the package. Um, I might cascade into Tefs all the time, but I think that that's like kind of not a problem. Um, I'm gonna mulligan this hand that doesn't do a lot. So let's mulligan that one. Oof, 
I cannot keep a hand that doesn't have anything going on. Um, despite, you know, having all the lands that I need. I got a mulling in this one. Oh, okay. I don't think that I can go much lower than this. I think that I have to keep this. Um, I'll keep this one and I'll bottom a blast zone and a snow covered forest. Yikes. Uh, let's play the sulfur vent and see what else is going on. Um, all right. Yeah, somebody else ta talked some sense into me. I might have misbordered that, but we'll see. I think that it's an eight card package, but if the Teferis are included in that, then I misunderstood the assignment. Turns out that there aren't very many sideboard guides for this pile of cards, which I'm still calling a pile of cards because acting as, this, as if this is like a, a regular deck, which it is. I know, I'm just giving it um, a little bit of gentle ribbing. Uh, is a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, I can't speak, that's okay. Maelstrom Wanderer, we are actually not that far off from casting that. Um, just a green mana away, which could happen at any point. And then we have the double cascade. It'd be kind of nice, uh, get around a stifle effect. First knocking the artwork and now, yeah, I know, I know. Hmm. Wasteland, um, hmm, okay. This is the card that we didn't want to face. Turns out it's also paired up against the Stifle deck. So, yikes. Uh, yeah, interesting, okay. And they didn't wasteland me. If I had an ancient tomb and a six drop, I could have punished that. Obviously I didn't, but um, you yeah, know. Um, I think if you side in anything that, that the trickeries come in, you counter your cascades. Uh, okay. You guys need me Dragonstorm a thing again? That would be fun. Dragonstorm could be a good one. Maybe I can Put that in the polls in the next couple of weeks. Name sticker, goblin, and dragon storm could be a thing. I don't know. Well, I hope so. Actually, I'm gonna turn off auto yields because if they wasteland me now, oh, they wasteland the sandstone needle. Well, that is the correct play. Mm-hmm. They did it at the right time too, so I couldn't, yeah. Okay, uh, my opponent is playing very well. And unfortunately, it might spell my doom. I have this Ottawara and a basic island, which is not bad. Um, creative technique. Oh no, my opponent, six cards in hand. Um, well, I think I've got to just run this out here. So, here we go. I don't think that I can do much else. Do I get the demonstrate trigger? <clears throat> Probably not likely. They can stifle this one and then counter the creative technique and then I'm a goner. But I will get the creative technique, okay demonstrate and what are they doing here? They're holding up Flusterstorm mana. They're holding up, oh, they can brainstorm if they want, I suppose. Okay. Oh, Joe, oh no. Are you a shuffle truther? Let's sh a shuffle bug truther? I don't know, I don't know. I think that that's not a bug, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. That's for sure. Okay. Our opponent has seven cards in hand. Uh, what are we doing? Force of negation. 
on the demonstrate one. Okay. And then what are we doing here? Probably another one. Yep. Okay. Force of will. I am good. They have got that one. Uh, turns out wasteland plus stifle really good combo. Um, didn't even think to discuss matching up against a stifle deck when I was talking about bad matchups. Um, it's only a bug if it benefits my opponent and then it's natural skill and talent. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Joe, I think that it's going to be really tough to kind of prove that with anecdotal evidence, right? Um, even if you just are the one to capture it, it's kind of difficult. And even if you cal calculate over a thousand different instances, that's really not going to give you a lot of data. You need to see the source code to actually definitively show something, um, which, you know, kind of problematic because that's not going to be something that we get access to. Um, and O'Doyle, you think Dragonstorm could be okay? I think it turned two, three, four wins are doable with good hands, Faithless Looting, and Mizzix's Mastery. Ooh, okay. Well, I love a good Mizzix's Mastery. That's pretty good. Um, love Mizzix's Mastery and uh, the Faithless Looting Mind's Desire deck that was floating around at the very beginning of the unbanning. That was kind of cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, Okay, really quick, uh, let me tell you about uh, the, uh, well, actually, no, that one's an old one. Okay, let me tell you about the Patreon. You could support our website and written articles about the Epic Storm. I'll be right back. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our Patreon to get articles seven days early, on top of other sweet benefits, and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. All right. Uh, we are playing up against Fausta Souza, and we won the die roll. Um, if you give me just one moment, I will reveal my Pokemon... And sorry, I'm messaging someone about an old ad that I have, and this is not a keepable hand, so let's mulligan this one. And we've got a very keepable hand. Um, this is a seven, but I can only win on seven, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna bottom the eight mana spell and see what we do, all right? <clears throat> hey, Alex, how's it going? Uh, welcome to chat, and we are playing up against our round four opponent. Um, let's start off with an irrigation ditch and keep going. All right, turn two, double sticker goblin looting, dragon storm, Mizzix mastery went on turn two. Yeah, that'll do it, that's for sure. Um, No Pokemon, you just saw land. Yeah, it's probably easy enough to get rid of. And uh, Joe, I kind of agree, but it's it's probably not worth it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, it's like Dragon Lord Dramoka and then a couple of other ones that will get you enough hasty power to swing for the win. Oh, well, that's kind of crummy. Now I need to get a basic island. Hmm. Okay. That's going to be a problem. Yikes. <clears throat> hmm. All right. They've got two mana. Unlicensed Terse. It's fine for now. We'll see what this pile of cards actually ends up being. Um, hmm. I need one of the three islands in my pile of cards or one of the several mono red cascade cards that I have. 
not a lot of of draws, but um, enough that I'm gonna keep playing this game. Never mind. Okay, I will concede with that one. That wasn't gonna happen. Um, how many basics do we have? We have three islands, three forests, a snow-covered island, a snow-covered forest, or actually one of each snow-covered basics, and then uh, one of each regular basic, and then two extra islands, two ex extra forests for uh, Ottawara and Basaju. All right, we need to go fast. So Tybalt's Trickery and Violent Outburst. Um, Teferi is not part of that plan, I don't think. Because I can just Tybalt's Trickery, um, the Violent Outburst, and that's how I get there. So yeah, I think that that's all I need. And then since I'm on the play, the Gemstone Caverns come out, and that's all the thinking I'm going to do about that. Um, okay. A stack of 163 lands is kind of tough to, uh, to do. Terror and Karthus. Oh, wow. I didn't think about that. Wow. Um, that's pretty good, Mike. Uh, yeah, Joe L is very nice. Uh, Bryant is being a bully in chat. You know what we do with bullies? That's right, Mike. We ban them. <clears throat> uh, when the die roll, play first. Yes, please. Here's my Pokemon. Uh, okay, I will keep this. Um, Interesting that I can just use Tybalt's Trickery as a counterspell if I need to. Um, hmm. All right. So this is enough to Violent Outburst and Tybalt's Trickery, but I have a creative technique in hand. Uh, hmm. I actually might mulligan this one. I'm going to mulligan this one. And this is actually not any better. Okay, I'm going to mulligan this one. Th the problem was that we were going to run in. Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll take a mulligan here. Okay, we have decent cards here. I'm going to keep this one. Put back Enigma Sphinx and Sweet Gum Recluse and Blast Zone. Um, and unfortunately, that's the best we can do. Alrighty. Uh, mulligan to four, kind of tough. Uh, we do need Blood Moon to fix colors. That's kind of what I'm hoping for now, uh, which is wild. It is definitely wild. Um, but I think that playing to a Blood Moon is fine. This is likely the Goblin aggro deck. Um, with Chrome Mox, we'll see what they imprint. This could be just Moon Stompy Fury. This actually kind of looks like Moon Stompy. Um, Den of the Bugbear, Moon Stompy, indeed. Simeon Spirit Guide. Here's our Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, three mana red enchantment. Uh, and let's see. Ooh, that's pretty close. And. See where we go from here. This is not bad. This is not a bad draw at all because we have the green mana that we need. Um, well, half of the green mana that we need. And then we're kind of close to getting there. Goblin deck is terrifying, by the way. Yeah, they do tend, they are a very aggressive deck, right? You have to have some interaction for it. Um, but as far as name sticker goblin, if you interact with it, while its ETB trigger is on the stack, it actually doesn't do anything. 
doesn't make any mana. So you can swords it, you can bolt it, you can solitude it, whatever you want. Um, there's the Magus. Okay, well, here we go. Another land. That's great. Um, okay, so I need to draw running lands in order to have a shot, but I only need two of them now. And with a hundred and however many we said, 150 plus of these bad boys, I think that we're doing just fine. It's over 50%. Um, whether that allows us to win before they defeat us or not, I don't know. We're gonna try our best. Um, <laughs> three mana in the pool and a pause now it could be on my end <laughs> we have a lot of cards to deal with mtgo might be getting a little upset but uh oh okay that's gonna be tough especially with this reflection of kiki jiki making a goblin rabble master i don't think that we're gonna get there all right all right hmm We need something, something to go right. That's not it. Uh, I think that this is just me being deceased, but I will let my opponent kill me. We are, we are definitely deceased. Oh, Alex, that's it. Violent outburst. That would have done it. Um, okay. Well, a reflection of Kiki Jiki can copy the Goblin Rabble Master. They get two additional Goblin tokens and they crack in for a ridiculous amount of mana. Uh, oh, I just want to see how much damage this is actually going to be. This is this is kind of cool. Um, we are deceased. This is, I mean, I'm going to chalk it up to a loss right now. We are one in three. However, uh, oh, what? Oh, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping that they were going to go all out and see how much damage we were going to take, but that's okay. Um, it would have been 11 more than this. Oh, yeah. We would have definitely been deceased, but uh, all right. We have decisive games, right? We haven't played a game three at all, um, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> it means that we're having a lot of fun, either highs or lows, and it ends quickly, so... Let's play another league match, and let me catch up with chat. Uh, okay, we were talking about the Goblin deck being terrifying. Uh, Bryant is a classy guy, absolutely. Um, and yeah, just, the, they're they're actually better. Uh, the Storm and Mana tokens, for sure, better for content. Um, and speaking of content, yeah, our opponent wanted to just end the game quickly. I can't blame them, right? I mean. A win's a win. Doesn't matter if your opponent is at negative four or negative four hundred. So it's all gonna be, all gonna be there. All gonna be good. But stunting for the camera is kind of a fun thing, right? I play peer into the abyss. I understand. Um, should I aggressively mull for two untapped mana lands? for untapped two mana lands. Oh, like Ancient Tomb and City of, uh, of Traitors and, and things like that. Um, so that there are 12 out of 200 and somebody, something, whatever that is. Hold up, I've got a calculator right here. 12 divided by 251. Oh wait, no, it's not two. It's like around 5%. I don't think that that's a reasonable thing to mulligan to. Um, but that's okay. Here we go for round number five. And mm, got it anyway. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, this is a turn four. Unless we draw a six mana um, something. Which we totally could, but 
we're going to see what happens. I'm going to play the temple just because if we're playing a wasteland matchup, I need my green mana. Kind of want that to hang around. Okay. And if we have enough time, something happens to our Altasaur, for example, um, we can just cast the Devastator. Um, which is kind of fun. Which would be very fun. I'm like, oh, probably not enough time. Also, Wasteland. Yikes. Um, okay. Hmm. I am not going to play out the Karu lands into a wasteland because that really does take it out of us. So, not yet anyway. I'll wait for them to destroy one of these and get rid of one of my land drops as opposed to the Karu lands, which is getting rid of two of my land drops. But I do think these are here for mana fixing, and it might have been a paper magic um, decision to play the Karu lands so you don't have to shuffle with fetch dual mana bases. Also, that would be a ridiculously expensive pile of cards to play in paper. You would play all 40 duels. You would play all 40 du uh, fetch lands. You would probably play the shock lands as well. I don't think that that would be particularly enjoyable. I mean, you might even play the Triomes over the Shocklands. I don't know. Um, aggressive start from our opponent. No Wasteland, though. And a Darcy that is really close. They already have two of the more difficult um, card types in Sorcery and Artifact. Uh, they already have a land, so they're only an instant or a creature away. Um... Yeah, I can tap for mana and then just replay it, um, or bounce. Uh, but I, I can't really do anything with that right now. Puts one card on top and chooses to not shuffle. That's moderately concerning. Uh, okay, crack in for three. Hmm. Okay, Haven Battleground. That is a fantastic draw. Um, <laughs> gotta spend money to make money. That's right, you are technically correct, and that's the best kind of correct, but um, spend that much money to uh, then pay $80 to play into a tournament where you're gonna like almost guaranteed one four drop. Uh, the community is fantastic, and that's exactly why you do it. But, oof, shuffling, shuffling like that, that is too high of a price. I don't want to, I don't want to pile shuffle 241 cards or whatever it is. Um, ugh. no, thank you. It's not 241. Whatever it is that we decided, it's 230 something. Um, 236, I think, is the card count. Um, ooh, Vapor Snag. We are straight up is it for what it's worth. And they have gotten their instance in Brainstorm and uh, all those good things. Um, and they cleared their Brainstorm with another Brainstorm? I don't know. Um, okay, they, they found their fetch land, so it's all fine, but... Interesting choices. Uh, alrighty. And here we go. Turn four. Ancient Tomb into Annoyed Altasaur. Uh, so this is six. I would fall to five. And then go to three and cast the Apex Devastator. I don't think that that's worth it. So we're going to just cast the Annoyed Altasaur. And call that good. And we're playing around days. Uh, 
uh, for purposes like uh, the creative technique. You do love Vapor Snag. It is a fun card. Okay, here we go. Luckily, we didn't display or um, reveal all that many cards, so that's good. MTGO isn't having to work just yet. Um, okay, that was more. And here's our creative technique. I am going to um, demonstrate And let's see if they hit a uh, an instant, uh, a piece of counter magic. Oh, they hit a lightning bolt. Okay, not bad. I don't think that I'll need to demonstrate again, but um, they're gonna be able to cast the lightning bolt, get a trigger off their DRC, and see what happens. Yeah, 60, like brand new sleeves, which obviously they had to re-sleeve this pile of cards for the event, get brand new sleeves and stuff. Um, no, thank you. No, no, no. 80 cards is arguably too much anyway. Uh, okay, so I get two creative techniques. And let's see what happens. They have... Also, they have to deal with a 5-3 and a 6-5 um, at baseline anyway, uh, which can trade with their two creature, or well, trade or block with the Altasaur. So that's kind of a difficult one. And they already got rid of their Vapor Snag. So I can't, so they're gonna double daze me here. Um, <clears throat> I'm already, I already have one. Um, so I will pay, what are we doing here? Brainstorm. Are they looking for the second daze? That's kind of spicy. Um, days to get the trigger off of the DRC and then brainstorm to find the next daze. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, now, Bryant, you do shuffle a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier to expand the way that you shuffle to larger volumes. Um, I don't do that. I shuffle in my hand as opposed to like on the on the table like you do. Um, okay, so there's the force of will. Um, I was expecting another daze. They might not have found one, so now they have to force. And then I have a creative technique here. Survey says, we're waiting and they have a force of will. Okay, that's unfortunate, not terribly um, unexpected. They have one card in hand and I have a 5-3 and a 6-5, reach trample. So I'm gonna be able to get rid of this uh, DRC, this pesky DRC. Our opponent has one card in hand <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. Fluster, uh, main deck fluster. Alex, that would be terrifying. Um, mm, I'm not sure about how I feel about that. Okay, so they did stop us from comboing with their two pieces of counter magic, which this deck just doesn't fundamentally uh, beat, right? We, we, we have to just hope that they don't have the two pieces. But we were able to cascade into enough creatures that um, we might still win anyway. Hmm. This is an interesting recursion card. I don't think it's going to matter, but... Um, it's interesting. There's the wasteland that we were worried about that isn't there anymore, which is lovely to see. They're gonna draw a card and it has to be two bolts. 
Nope, they play in a Misty Rainforest. Okay, it's not gonna be two bolts right now, but it might be eventually. Um, the Ravnica lands look horrible, Sean. Yeah, I agree. I'm not 100% sure why they're here. Um, I'm just ripping this straight from, well, not straight from, I modified it a little bit based on, um, okay, here we go. Um, based on Brian's recommendations of getting rid of one Battle of Wits and getting rid of one set of the Karu lands, but the Bounds lands don't look particularly good here. I agree. Okay, our opponent has no cards in hand. They're about to draw one, and we have a 6-5, Reach Trample, and uh, the ability to fire it in again in a little bit. I'm okay with this. Um, I'm going to attack for six and see what happens. Ancient Tomb looking pretty good here. Um, okay, they didn't have an end of turn, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Petty theft or something like that. Um, chain Lightning. Uh-oh. Do they have it? Do they draw Runner Runner exactly Lightning Bolt Chain Lightning? No, they didn't. Okay. Oof. Close. And we drew an untapped land to play around days. So we can do this all over again. Uh, kind of fun. Now, they can kill me. I am going to cast a boarding party. Um, if they have a vapor snag, they can kill me, which is uh, a little unfortunate. But we're going to just see what we can do. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we get the Aura Phoenix back into my hand. Not that that really matters. Um, but it's kind of cool. All right, Vapor Snack, here we go. Do or die. There's one in the sideboard. Oh, okay, creative technique. I am not going to demonstrate this. I don't want them hitting a lightning bolt. Um, the only thing that they can have in hand that would interact is like a spell pierce. Um, I am not going to demonstrate. Yeah, Phoenix flavor text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, totally things that I would have forgotten in real life. I mean, half of this deck is triggers that I would have forgotten in real life. But all you're doing is ripping from the top, so it doesn't really matter, right? Mm hmm hmm. This Meteoric Mace is going to cascade into our creative technique. Yep, there it is. And this is not our last one. We have one more. Um, I would like to demonstrate, or I would not like to demonstrate, excuse me. Um, and then I would like to creative technique into something that doesn't cost six. Oh, Battle of Wits. Well, that might. I might win anyway. That's a quicker clock, that's for sure. Um, is it a quicker clock? It's actually not a quicker clock. They're just deceased. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, boarding party has haste. And even if they didn't, uh, it would have been the same clock. So there we go. Uh, up a game against Delver. And I think that I am going to just board in uh, Camille or Chamille. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then get rid of the gemstone caverns. And call that good. All right. Easy, four in, four out. Those numbers are tight. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. 
not in the 236 card deck that I'm submitting. So let's see what we can do. We're up a game against Delver of Secrets. You know how awesome that is? I don't think that that's going to happen. I don't think that we're going to get the next two against the Wasteland major pieces of counter magic deck, but we got a game and that's, that's what's important. So obviously we're going to crush this round and we're going to end on a 2-3 record, which I'll be so happy with. Um, call forth the Tempest, hit the Mother Load, and let the Galaxy burn in the main Hex Ooze. I have no idea what those cards do. I, I recognize that let the Galaxy burn is a combo card of some kind. Um, I couldn't tell you what it does um, at all. So please let me know in chat what those cards do. Unfortunately, there's no scryfall search or, or formatting for chat, but um, just type it out in chat and let me know what it does. Cause I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're going to be the one to take this and break it. I hope that you are, cause I am certainly not. That's not my, that's not my lot in life. Um, I will play this the once and I'll be so happy. Okay, we won lost the die roll. No, we lost the last, or we won the last game. That's what happens. Uh, here is my Pokemon bump freak. Where is yours? They don't have one. Oh no. And this is going to be, uh, hmm. This is going to be a keep, I think. Yeah, I mean, we've got the things that we need, which is six mana and the castable. So I'll keep this. Mm -hmm. The is it boiler works is meh. Not where I want to be necessarily, but it's fine. And we have the ability to go off on turn four for now. Um... Runes of Trocare, and then Vesuva copying the Runes of Trocare. Uh, White Border City hurts you. Yeah, this is just the cheapest one on MTGO, I gotta say. Uh, card Hoarder gave me what I got, and I was not about to go through and figure out which cards I wanted to change out of that pile of cards. So, yeah. Um, Hmm, let's see. 2-3, uh, actually 3-2 is the best you've done in a league. Uh, with this? I don't know. Um, have you played this, Bethel Geese? I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's play the Runes of Trocare, I suppose. Um, and go through Hexus. Thank you for responding. I will look at that once I F6 through my my opponent's turn. Okay, call forth the Tempest. Five red, red, red. Sorcery Cascade. Twice. Um, okay. Not quite sure. Is this an MTGO? Uh, not a card that's on MTGO. I don't know. Call forth the Tempest. Deals damage to each creature your opponent controls. Equal to total of my other spells you've cast that turn. Interesting. Um, oh, Cloudy. Uh, no, Card Hoarder is great. You can rent as many cards as you want at one time, as long as it's within your rental limit. Um, and they're totally fine with this. I rented the entire pile of cards because it turns out, uh, well, actually, with the exception of, um, I think I have an Ottawara here or a Teferi there or something like that. Um, turns out I don't have a lot of these cards. Ooh, Sapper's in scary. Okay, that's good. Um, I still think that I'm not going to play in two days. Um, oh, ever? Oh, okay. LTC. I don't know if it's on MTGO or not yet. Um, I mean, practice makes perfect, so you just gotta keep going. I know that that's where I'm. I am. I need to get. And it's it's not practice makes perfect. Perfect pra practice makes per perfect, or practice makes permanent. If you want to use those different phrases, right? 
perfect practice makes perfect, meaning that the way that you practice matters, or practice makes permanent, which also implies that the way that you practice matters because if you practice incorrectly, it's permanent, it's gonna be stuck, wasteland, darn. Um, okay, well, that's fine. It's gonna put us back a couple of turns, but yeah. Um, total mana value of other spells you've cast, ooh. I didn't realize that hex, that's pretty good. Um, and that's really good. And then let the galaxy burn is an X spell. Uh, each creature. Oh, so it's like a board wipe. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Another Sakashima's protege. Okay. We'll see if they can eke out the, uh, the win with this wasteland. If they have another one, then ooh, tough. Um, hit the mother load might be a 40k card, which they are not on here. Uh, same with like Triumph of St. Catherine, things like that. Yeah, so yeah, unfortunately we can't be playing with those. Any 40k card are not on here due to some licensing issues, I think. I think that that's what we've all agreed on, that MT, uh, Magic the Gathering itself, not um, MTGO's client, um, are having problems with. I would imagine they need to get them on here so that we can play them, but it is not MTGO's organizer's fault. It is Magic the Gathering, Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, Daybreak is Daybreak is fantastic. Yeah, Cloudy, you said it. Um, ooh, they chose not to shuffle. Tough, tough, tough. Play a regular land, please. Delver of Secrets. Okay. Mm. Creature Heavy is okay. They have five cards in hand. That's not great, but yeah. February at the earliest. Yeah, okay. By then, Modern Horizons 3 will have come out and made it so that Triumph of St. Catherine isn't the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, you know, taking things a little late for that one. Kind of with the uh, kind of what happened with um, Mind's Desire unbanning, we got this awesome card, and we finally got Paradise Lost on MTGO, and then we just get uh, crushed by Beseech the Mirror, which is the best thing since sliced bread for Storm decks. Uh, which is too bad because that means that Mind's Desire and Paradise Lost didn't really have time to shine. Like, we kind of wish that they would have. Uh, which, I mean, totally fine. I love Beseech the Mirror instead. So, I'm I'm perfectly happy. But there was a, a few weeks where we got Mind's Desire for a little bit, and it was lovely. Um, yeah, Clawtooth, I agree. Paradise, Paradise Lost really cool card for storm slash artifact combo decks um there's a, a player they were working on kci with paradise lost looked pretty cool but i don't think that it ended up going anywhere our opponent revealed by the way a force of will to flip their delver of secrets into this insectile aberration and they're clocking in for quite a bit of damage now I am going to have uh, Sakashima's protege to put on the stack, but hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I can do about it. What I could do, actually, um, is. Mm, do better. I don't know. We're going to see what I can do. Crystal Vein. Okay. Well, I can't play that. That would have been nice. Would have been nice if I already had two blue mana up, but that got wastelanded. Um, so I am going to be weak to a uh, daze. I'm going to be weak to a lot of different things. 
But that's what I got. I got a Sakashima's protege. And we're going to see what we can do. This is going to get a creative technique. I believe that I have to demonstrate to play around this force of will that I know of. And they probably have another one. Um, oh, Battle of Wits. Okay, well. We're going to concede. We hit a Battle of Wits instead. We've been doing that quite a lot. Probably the appropriate amount, though. Um, obviously. Uh, okay, Gemstone Caverns. Might as well bring it in. What am I taking out? Probably Blast Zone. Blast Zone does not seem like a particularly necessary card. Uh, and we're going to call that good. Yeah, I think that that's okay. Um, we had an opportunity there. Our opponent probably had the answers, like the double counter spell, like it, just force of will that we knew about plus a daze was going to do it. But they also could have had two force blue card pitches. So that's fine. Um, yeah, Joe, I'm kind of like hyping up Triumph a little bit more than it needs to. I'm try I'm kind of hyping up, well, actually Besiege probably deserves it, but um, there are a lot of cards that we would like to be playing with to make sure that they're not absolutely busto. Um, Triumph being one of them. All right, there's my Pokemon. Mike, you are cor no, I'm Oh yeah, this is correct. Oh, you know what? I ugh, I should have yeah, I should have boarded it. I should have kept it in and then uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um these are slow. But I don't hate that. One, two, three, four, five. Um yeah, you know what, Bryant? I get it stuck in my head, and then I say a phrase over and over again during the course of a stream. That's just going to be what it is. Fantastic was another one that was a couple of days ago. Best thing since sliced bread is apparently today's. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. Better, probably. Um, there's the counter. Unfortunately, I don't think that we're at one. Oh, I need to play a land. Um, Yeah, I do definitely have repeat phrases. Um, it's fun to hear listening back. It's like, okay, well, at least I'm going to be known for something, I guess. Um, I don't need to change it. But best thing since sliced bread certainly is one of the phrases of all time. And they have a creature on turn one to start churning things away. They've got the bobble, so they've got a difficult... Um, uh, card type. There we go. And we'll see if we can come out the winner for uh, this last match. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think we can do this? I think our hand looks pretty okay, right? Like this Camille, the inner sun. Spells can't be countered. I think that that's going to be pretty powerful. And it looks like, with the exception of this temple, um, hmm. Okay. Never mind. We might be able to turn for this without the Camille and then um, see what we can do in like an end step. Hmm. It's an aggressive start, that's for sure. Wasteland, tough. Um, okay, we still have double green for this sweet gum recluse. Uh, I'd, that's probably not good enough. I will play out a forest and they haven't hit a, even a third card type here. Um, I think I'm okay with just 
making land drops and getting this Camille on the battlefield, or at least making them counter something, I suppose. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. So discover five exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card with mana value five or less. Cast it. So I'm going to get either Battle of Wits or um, uh, the Creative Technique. And then that Creative Technique can demonstrate and go on f moving forward with uh, things in my end step. And if I get an Emrakul off of that, then I just take another turn and it's like I did this all in my pre-combat main phase. Uh, okay, so here is immediately our opponent getting Delirium. Brainstorm, end of turn. Ponder, or not Brainstorm, end of turn. Uh, this turn, excuse me. And, um, and they're keeping the cards. That's frankly a little terrifying. So they're going to crack in for six. Hmm. If it's a wasteland, I'm going to be pretty bummed out about it. I don't think that we can do much about that, though. Uh, ugh, that wasn't very good. Okay. So, technically, on board, minus a lightning bolt or anything that increases the clock, I have the ability to make my land drops without a wasteland on the board and um, put a sweet gum recluse or a Camille onto the stack. However, this looks like a Merktide Regent, which means I'm not going to be able to do that. So I need to draw... Uh, what do I need to draw? really well is what I need to draw. Oh wait, no, that turns off Delirium. Interesting. Hmm. What can I do here? Uh, no, wait, no, that's just deceased. Five, six, seven, I am dead. Um, I would have needed an ancient tomb or something like that. Okay, and I can't besage you. That's all, folks. Didn't get there. Got the 1-4, which is about as well as I thought it was going to go. Uh, this pile of cards <laughs> is a lot of fun, but it can't be good. Uh, I would never recommend playing this, but... I did, and I had a blast. So a 1-4 is probably about as well as I thought we were going to do, honestly. Um, I don't know about the Karoo lands, like the, the bounce lands. that We've talked about that in stream several times. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with a lot of these things about the deck. Uh, but that's not the point, right? The point is we were playing Battle of Wits, Creative Technique, all of these things in a Yorion 236 card mashup of wonderful five color goodness that's what we were doing today and we did it um and you know what cloudy i am happy to do it i am loving uh being able to stream with you guys and you know what 100 play points is definitely worth it i think that if you want to try this out then i will see you and i'll be playing the epic storm and i'll have the time of my life twiddling my thumbs until turn three when I can combo off without any pressure. So until then, uh, I'll see you around. Thank you all for voting. I hope that you all got the epic rap battles of history reference in the title and look out for the poll next Thursday for another stream with yours truly, Captain, signing off. Have a good night.